Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this photograph of a pretty neat logo of a tackle and jig shop, and they're working with X11 or number uh, version 11, and I'm working with 21, so I'm 10 versions ahead. The tracing has got better, and the one I'm doing the video for, I will send you the file after I clean it up just a little bit, and then you can clean it up some more. Uh, it's pretty clean and it's got a pretty good background. I'm not going to do anything to it, but I am going to make it smaller just so Corel doesn't have to do so much work. When we trace it, I'm not going to convert it to a bitmap or anything. I'm just going to go to trace, outline trace, and clip art. And it traces it pretty good. <clears throat> when it's done, I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to move it over. And you can see that it did a pretty good job. Now, we need to get red of the garbage. So let's go to object or uh, group and ungroup it. So now we got, we can delete some things, but it would take you a long time to delete them all. And I don't think they need that. So I'm going to go and delete that. But then I'm going to select the whole thing. And the uh, trace is better. And also the probably the find and replace is better. Uh, you really need to think about upgrading if you do a lot of work. But I'm going to select the black, and then I'm going to say from selection, and then I'm going to grab it all, and I'm going to go current page, I'm going to go find all. And it found all the blacks and got rid of all the garbage. That's really pretty much done, depending on how good you need it to look. And, you know, the, the, the jig itself looks pretty good. And the, the hardest font to find there, asking how to find a font, uh, would be the hardest part. I'm actually going to take it all. I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to go uh, left click, no fill, right click, outline. And it's a hairline, but they're so thick. This is where you need to make it bigger right now to make those lines uh, more established and bigger and easier to work with. And I know she doesn't have the smart fill tool, so we're not going to use the smart fill tool. But you have the shape tool, and you can select on a shape. Well, actually, let's change the whole thing to a hairline. Evidently, it's not. Let's grab it all, go right here, and go to a hairline and see the difference. You'll be able to see a lot more uh, bad stuff and take the shape tool and just delete, start deleting some nodes. Make that thing a little rounder, you know, delete some nodes that aren't needed. You know, you'll, you'll soon find out like if you need to delete too many, but that looks pretty good. And you could now, if you, when you do upgrade someday, the smoothing tool, which you do not have yet, it started in X7, will really do a really good job on smoothing this stuff out. And I'll smooth this out for you and send it back to you. The other fonts are a little harder, but let's see what, in all caps, and let's go to bold. I'm just using Arial, and, and fonts are in your uh, windows or not in. You know, that looks pretty close. So you could do a replace uh, that font instead of trying to trace it and, and make it out. And it all depends on your customer. So what I would do is set my nudge factor. Let's see how big this is. Yeah. Less than an inch. So we'll set our nudge factor on one inch. And I'll move that over two inches. And I'm just going to delete that. Hit delete. Now I'm going to, I can left click, right click, and bring that back and look how much time that saved you. The tackle looks pretty good. The customization, everything else looks great except for that and. Um, you know, all this would kind of get a, you could kind of get by with, I would take out. So you need to click on, I would take away that node um, and just kind of look at it. Depending on how big you're going to make this is kind of one of the big problems. I don't see really any problems. You know, I would take the, if I was doing it, I would use the um, smoothing tool, but you know, you can delete some double node, maybe delete that node. 
and just kind of delete every other node that's not working. You know, I don't, I don't know really what the fly looks like, the curvature of that looks good. So I will go over this a little bit better, and then I'll, because you don't have a newer version of Corel, um, I'll send you the file. Uh, but think about practicing it by yourself. And if, you know, if one node needs to be spanned out, just kind of span it out. And one thing I've always learned about letters, if you get one O perfect or the way you want it, you could always use that O for both. You know, you could delete this node or delete this one and then take this one and we'd want to make it perfect first. You know, get that inside node there and delete it and see what happens. You can't do it. I didn't think we could, but we could unsharpen it a little bit, make it look a little bit better. Then you could take this, control D and make a duplicate. Hold down your control button so it'll move over perfectly. And then you could have left the other O there before, you know, I did that and changed the one to color so you could see which one's on top. Other than that, it looks pretty good. But I will stop the video and, and uh, clean this up a little bit more to you. You know, that almost looks like a font you could find on the internet or, you know, a font that you have. But then you just take it all and left-click outline or fill, and I think it would work. Hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.